This is a book by Viktor E. Frankl who tells his experiences as a prisoner in a Nazi concentration camp. Afterwards, he identifies ways to find meaning in life using his observations and knowledge of logotherapy. So here are my five takeaways. Without suffering, human life cannot be complete. To live is itself a suffering. Despite this, all of us have the ability and freedom to choose our attitude towards that suffering. We become who we are based on the inner decisions we make, and suffering ceases when we find meaning in it. So we should try not to gain pleasure or avoid pain, but find meaning in it. Love is such a powerful and strong emotion that can get us through the rough times. During Frankl's time in concentration camp, he thought about his wife and reminisced about past good memories. Although the present moment is unbearable, the past memories can provide some warmth and comfort. It also distinguishes you from others since these are your experiences and memories which cannot be taken away. Every month, I like to read through my past journal entries to find good memories. Although it's the past, reading back to those entries allows those memories to come back alive. The memories that evoke a lot of emotions can make me feel like I'm reliving it again. Existential frustration occurs when an individual questions their number one, existence, number two, meaning of existence, and number three, will to meaning. For example, after being liberated from the concentration camps, Frankl noticed that many men were filled with bitterness and continued to suffer despite being free. They discovered that even in liberation, suffering had no limits. This leads to a meaningless life and is a result of an individual not knowing what he or she wants to do in life. Unfortunately, many people, especially the younger generation, are turning towards drugs because of the feelings of emptiness and meaningless in life. This leads to these three facets, depression, aggression, and addiction. So we need a reason to be happy. This means we need a purpose worth living for and a hierarchy of values. Stop asking for the meaning of life. Instead, ask what does life expect from us? Life itself means taking responsibility. This is the why of our existence. As long as you're alive, there is hope to do that for the future. The term tragic optimism means being optimistic despite all the pain, guilt, and death encountered in life. It is impossible to define the meaning of life. It calls for a different response from each person. It can depend on the person, specific time in life, personality, or situation. It can also keep changing. Frankl suggests to discover meaning through number one, creating a work or deed. Number two, experiencing something or someone such as goodness, truth, and beauty. Number three, encountering a certain attitude towards suffering. We should live as though we are living for the second time. And with our second life, we should make the most out of it and see ourselves as fully responsible. The more we shift ourselves to something else such as a person or cause, the more meaning we will find in life. Overall, this book personally gave me a different perspective towards life, especially when addressing suffering and responsibility. You can check out my full takeaway in the description below. Thanks for watching.